Hello and welcome to another DxO Quick Tips. When you import a, a, a photo or an image into DxO, as we've discussed, a lot of default corrections are going to take place. If you don't want any corrections to take place, you can just check no uh, corrections. But it's kind of a good idea to let DxO take care of a couple things like uh, fringing and chromatic aberration and uh, just distortion and general things like that that you really you know you might forget to take care of and then go ahead and export your picture but uh, they're just nice little things that it should take care of and does best for you there might be times that we talked about when you don't want it to happen but in general you can just let it happen one of the things that it is going to do is sharpen your picture for you uh, it's going to add some sharpening that is best fit for the specific lens that you used when you snapped the image. After that, there are some uh, great sharpening tools within it. Remember, DxO is really at home when it is making the local adjustments. And if you look at the workflow, it is so designed. Uh, every time you add a control point or a U point, you can do anything you want. You can add sharpness right there locally to that adjustment. But if you do want to make global big changes to the whole picture, you do have lens sharpness down here. And we can just apply it globally uh, to the entire image and sharpen the entire image. Uh, details, once again, I like to use details in a local sense. But yeah, you want to add details to the finer, smaller things. And, uh, but that is your sharpening tool right there. Once again, I prefer to sharpen uh, in a local sense, especially in a scene like this. I don't like to sharpen my skies. I'm not too keen on sharpening you know, my water too much. Um, so it really is my foreground elements and things like that, rocks and textures. I like to sharpen those things. So I tend to do sharpening mostly in a, a local adjustment way. But there, here is a global sharpening tool. Uh, works really well. Let's talk about Unsharp Mask really quick. Uh, from what I've read about Unsharp Mask, Unsharp is a basically a sharpening trick. It's not really sharpening. Uh, sharpening is applied to basically uh, raw images. Uh, Unsharp Mask is giving the illusion of a sharpening. So Unsharp Mask is, from what I understand, more fit for JPEGs um, and files that have been uh, a bit more compressed and are uh, a bit more difficult to actually sharpen. So unsharp mask in the sense of uh, editing a raw image would generally not be touched. Just kind of stay away from that. Uh, DxO does a really nice job of sharpening the image uh, according to your lens uh, when you import it. And then you have these tools right here, the global sharpening. And of course, anytime you make a local adjustment or add a control point as we will here, and oops, we can just uh, bank, pull this out. You can see, you can come right down here, excuse me, here, and go through these and you'll see that sharpening is uh, somewhere right in here. Here you go, sharpness and blur. So, you know, it's really just best done in a local sense. If you want to sharpen something, you can just use control points and sharpen it that way. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something, and I'll catch you guys next time.